now back to the action of Rockmart High School basketball here on WZOT. Uh, welcome back to the Rock. Robert Troy and Chris Wolf for our second game tonight. Boys action against uh, the Yellow Jackets against Rome Wolves. We've got a, about a minute left here in the shoot around. They've already had a meeting between the refs and coaches and captains, I guess. I think it's going to be very interesting. I think it's going to be a, a fast game. Probably going to be faster than I can keep up with, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We'll do the best we can and uh, try Soft, to keep softball's up. Softball's a little different than keeping up with basketball. It, so. it, it is. You're right. But, uh, but Jeff, Jeff asked me if I could keep a, keep a book for basketball. I said, there's a book? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. But, uh, yeah, it's nice to have the guys back, unfortunately, for football, but it's nice to have them back to play basketball. Um and here we go. We got about we're getting ready to do the starting lineup for the Yellow Jackets and for Rome. I can tell you that Rome's starting lineup is going to be McDearman, number two, number ten Holland, number fourteen Ingram, number twenty-two Hillary, and number twenty-five Smith. That I can tell you. For Rockmart, I don't really know. I know Ty Floyd's been out sick uh, with the flu, but he was back yesterday, Coach said. And uh, we're fixing to have the starting lineup for you here. And I guess this should be a quick run and gun. Hopefully we'll make three pointers. Yeah, a few dumps tonight here, Chris. Yeah, might see some uh, high-flying action here in a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like Coach talked about in, in his, you know, the halftime with us. Their, their action starts next week, and they've got to be ready for that because this is good games to play in, but that's the ones that count is your area matchups. So um, you need to make sure you take care of that business there. So now for the Rock Mario Yellow Jackets the lineup, there's some big, tall kids on this team. There he is, both sides of the court. Yeah. Still learning. It's like Ty Floyd is going to play. Duke Boozer is coming out to start for us. He's the team leader of guard. Tyler Rowland is the other guard. He, he does a lot on the handling the ball issues as well. Ty Floyd coming out here. He's the uh, baseline shooter for three. You got Gibson now coming in for Rob Mark. And a junior, Davis for Rob Mark. And just like that, we're getting ready to play. But like Coach said earlier, Chris, you know, he's, he's got a deep bench. So, if some of these guys show some getting tired, he'll put somebody else in. Yeah, definitely. He's got a lot of depth to, to play with over there. And, uh, you know, options is a good thing, especially in basketball, because you got to have a hot hand somewhere. So, you know, definitely. you just got to find that hot hand during the game and, and, and go with it. So, so we're going to go from right to left again once again. And here we go. Rome gets the tip. Come across McDermott. Rob Mark's going to be in a man-to-man. Ball passed off to Holland. Four teams got the ball for them. Ingram back out to Holland. Now they're going to run a motion on our man-to-man. Doing a good job. Picking up with the guys. The health side defense has been good. Shot three, missed. And Rowan gets the ball, and he's going the other way with it. Ty Floyd for three, right off the bat. A little short. Just knocked out quickly to Ingram. He goes, he's going to go in, but he's going to get fouled. Fouls on number 14, Gibson. 
quite a tough foul. It looked like uh, the shooter came in with an elbow over there and kind of pushed off with his elbow. But he was out of control. The, yeah, we got the call for the blocking foul. Yeah. Ingram has the ball for long throw. Drives to the hole. Puts it up and in for two. Long is going to be in at press. One, two, two. Boozer has the ball. Passes it back over to roll. Going across the half court line. Now you get inside. Oh, you got Davis throws it away. They're going to talk about a little bit of help. A little bit of help. Yeah, I thought that ball got tipped by Roman. Well, he did get tipped. And didn't you know. originally get the call, but it got overturned there by the. That's what I like. You know, you got three referees. Somebody they all help out. each other. Yeah. So we have the ball back. Rolling the top of the key, drives the hole. This is the Davis. He's going to get fouled. I think the back is going up with two. Went up hard and strong right there and, and drew the foul. Uh, unfortunately, the bat, uh, ball didn't fall in the basket, but he's going to shoot two right here. It's an RW free throw. RW line of up. Feel free to free up some of your time and take advantage of the RW wash and phone service down there. Yeah, they have a very clean laundromat, or you can do it yourself in their commercial grade washers and dryers. 804 West Elm Street, Broad Mark Make one, miss one there. Make one, miss one. Now they lose the ball out of bounds. You go back to the right mark. Time forward with the inbound. Still in a 1 2 2. We're walking it up. Floyd Rowan has the ball now. Pass the cross out for Davis. Get out of the corner. Rowan has it in the corner here. He's going to set up the offense now. They're in a, they're in a three-two. Ball to roll on top of the key. Shoots the ball. No good. Loser. Dumps the ball. Off the rebound. That was beautiful. Nice follow-up right there by Boozer. Ball just came out off of Tyler's shot, and Boozer jumped up and slammed it in. Rebound by Floyd. He was way above that rim. Man. I remember when I could do that. I made it do my dream. <laughs> a foul away from the ball. I didn't see it. 22, holding, holding our. Yeah, that's Hillary there for Rome. He was holding Gibson. Wow, that was just. He came out of nowhere like Superman. Yeah, he, he did. I did. You're exactly right. He just came in over the top of everybody and just pushed that ball down in the back. Ball passed in the rolling corner. Shoot. This is five points there for the rebound. Battling. Can't hold on to it, but uh, referee got in the way there. Give the ball to Rome. Travel. He called travel, but he was in the air. But anyway, he just. Rome did have the ball. It should have been Rome's ball. So now we are still in a man-to-man. They're in a 1-4. And right now McDermott has the ball. Passes it out to Holland. Holland's uh, a very short guard. Holland's about my side. He's very short. <laughs> He's very quick. And the ball goes up, misses it. Fuzzy gets the rebound going the other way. Behind the back, under the way, two legs. Nice job of ball handling. No look. Nice passing by Robert. It just blocked by Smith. But if it's going to throw out bounds, Robert gets the ball. I was going to say about the size, the young man might be small, but in basketball, it doesn't matter how tall you are. Oh, no. You can play. Oh, man. He's, he's getting after it. He's out there starting to roam for a reason. That's exactly right. But man, what a nice ball handling right there. No look pass by Boozer to Davis. Rowan comes up with it. Pass the Boozer. No look. Once again, they're not ready for it. Goes away the other way. The Wise. Wise is going to get shoot two. Yeah, going to call that one on on Tyler. Says he hit him in the head. So they'll be shooting two at the line. He got a lot of ball. I don't know if he got all ball, but he definitely got a lot he of did. it right there. He was. Pleading his case. So it's four minutes and 32 seconds left to go in this first quarter, and it's two to three. 
Bob Mark's leading. Not a, not a lot of scoring, but there's been a lot of ball movement, that's for sure. Sure has. First, first free throw was missed. That was off, too. Still, 3-2, to two, Rotmar leads. Boozer brings the ball up the court. Slow it down a little bit. Looks up there in a the man-to-man now. Now you go back into the 1-2-2, two, two, so... We shoot, we miss. They get the rebound, go the other way. Shot. He misses that one. We don't go for the rebound. Let Rome in to get it. Another three point by McDermott. It's good. Five to three, Rome. Keep passing up. Get across that court. There you go. Rowan has the ball now. Nice ball movement. Good fake. Boozer has it. Something on the court over there just came out. He's a hot dog four, looks like. Shot. Missed. And now they're going to shoot three pointer on the other end. No good. Boozer gets the rebound. Loser drives, passes a no look to Davis. Quickly inside to Gibson for two, so it's five to five now. Good ball movement. Good job by Gibson right Long there. Long shot for the basket by Wise. I don't think that was very wise. It was off. Right Mark got the ball back. Loser's going to take it now on the far right side. He's above the three point line. To the corner to roll, he shoots three. No good. He goes that away, though. Smith has the ball. Throws it away out of McDermott's hands. Should be going to Robert. Yeah, Floyd right there to break that one up. And luckily came back off the Rome, uh, Rome player there. Yeah. So now Rome falls back into a uh, 1-2-3 zone. Not letting nobody in the middle. Rowan shoots to make three outside. That's what we're going to have to do to pull him out of that zone. Yeah. If they're going to leave that outside outside open, we should take advantage of it. Two minutes left to go in this first quarter. While Mark Lee, eight to five in this boy action. Shots going to go up by Ingram. Long three, miss. Rowan gets the rebound. Here comes Gibson. I mean, not Gibson. Boozer. Boozer gets his own rebound and puts it right back up and in. So, 30-second timeout is called. And we're going to take 30 seconds to be right back. Here's a real tweet from a real Chick-fil-A guest. Meredith writes, Am I the only person who didn't know Chick-fil-A had mac and cheese? Holy game changer. The secret's out now, Meredith. Is there anything you think the world should know about our mac and cheese? What I really like about the mac and cheese is the oven toasted golden brown cheesy top layer. It's savory and it makes you feel really good. That does sound amazing. Thanks, Meredith. Try the mac and cheese yourself at your local Chick-fil-A. Real Chick-fil-A gets paid for their testimonial. Now more of Rock Mart High School basketball here on WZOT. Well, we're back at the Rock and like you said, Chris, there's going to be a lot of stuff going back and forth. It's going to be hard to keep up with it, but it's been fun so far. Yeah, it's low scoring, only 10-5. Rob Mark with the lead, but, uh, man, a lot of up and down the court action. Yeah, you got Holland now for Rome has the ball top of the key. We are we are in a man-to-man still. And ball gets passed over to Ingram. Back to Holland. They're bringing it back out, trying to set up a motion. Ingram to Holland. He's going to shoot a long three. Gets blocked by Boozer. He has to throw it back in quickly. Now a long shot by Ingram. He misses it. Gets the ball to Rowan quickly up to Ty Floyd. Ty Floyd to shoot three. Misses that. Nice block out. Oh, man. Nice block out by uh, number 14 Gibson. who gets the knockout of his hands and went back up. Yeah, Floyd and Boozer were 
both under the basket trying to get the rebound and got in each other's way. So, yeah. ball, ball back around. Still 10 to 5, Rob Marley. One minute left in this first quarter. Holland comes over with it. Passes it out to Philly. Hillary. Shot up by number 25, Smith. In and good. 10 to 7 right now. Rockmar leads. Rowland comes over half court with it. Gives it to for the corner. He's going to dribble out, throw cross court to Boozer. Boozer's got it in the corner. Pass to Rowland. He gets right past his man. Waits on him. He's going to get blocked. Uh, Good block by Tillery right there. Unfortunately, he was able to recover after uh, Tyler Rowland got by him. He was able to recover and block that from behind. Ball goes into Davis. Throws it right back out to Rowland. He he travels there for quick. Call that happy feet. Yeah, Coach Calhoun's wanting him to shoot that ball. Yep. Ten seconds left in this first quarter. Seven to ten, Ron Marley. They're not going to get the shot off. Long three. Miss. Bang them. We'll be right back at the 60 seconds. WZOT Rockmark, W270CE Rome. Hey, folks, this is your old buddy Bill Scherfsey, general manager of All Star Motors. See Donis Bain for a great deal on a new pre owned vehicle and drive it home today. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. Your job is your credit. And remember, All Star Motors, where every day is an All Star day. Also, check us out at www.allstarmotorco.com. And we have that unforgettable phone number, 770 684 CARS. At 770-684-2277. A-Plus Store Solutions is your local Weaver's Portable Building and R&B Metal Structures dealer in Rock Mart. We also sell dog kennels and a variety of trailers, including dump trailers. Get your portable building faster at A-Plus Store Solutions. We are located just a half mile south of Rock Mart High School on Highway 113. Stop by and see Jim or give us a call at 678-883-2006. You're listening to Rock Martin High School Basketball here on WZOT, 101.9 FM, AM 1220. All right, back of the Rock, Robert Troy and Chris Wolf going to the second quarter. Rob Martin leads 10 to 7. We get the ball starting off. The Bruiser brings it over half court. He's the top of the key with it, driving to the hole. He'll take it all away, and he's going to get fouled with a hand on the body there. Yeah, he'll get to shoot. Oh, he's going to be—he's going to shoot an RW laundry free throw. We have some of your time, especially around these holidays. Go down let RW Wash and Fold Service take care of you. With their nice, clean, well-kept laundry. Or you can use the commercial washer and dryer yourself to make it quicker. At 804 West Elm Street, here in Rockmark, Georgia. Makes the first one. Second one's up and good. Quickly get the ball to court. Boozer steals it off a wrong, but it went off of Boozer's leg. He got all the way back from that free throw to this far corner and almost made it steal. Yeah, he tried He tried to make a case for himself down there, but the ref saw it. He's right there on top of it. Ball thrown into Holland. He goes in the middle. Ah, shot missed. Tyler Rowland with the rebound. Back across midcourt. Who's at the top of the key? He's going to shoot it. No, he's not. He just takes me out, too. Rowland has it. Backs up. Resets up the offense. Back door. Nice pass to Davis. He misses it. Going the other way. Nice. Finger roll in there by Ingram. So it's 12 to 9, Rockmar leads. Nice pass. Boozer going to go in down. 
Oh, he slammed Duncan. It came out of the rim. He missed it. Held on to it a little bit too far. Yeah, he uh, he took off from, from about halfway up the free, from the free, from the baseline there, and uh, I don't think he was for sure he was going to dunk that at the beginning. I, I, I didn't think he. I don't think that's what he was thinking to begin with, but I think he got up there and thought, well, maybe I can make this happen. Yeah, that would have got the crowd in the feet. It's 6.40 left to go in this half. 12 to 9, Rob Marley. He's definitely got some wings on those basketball shoes. Oh, yeah. Nice ball moving inside by Ingram. Jump stop. The score is two. Brings him within one against Rob Marley. Rob Marley's 12 to 11. Loser comes across off court. Shoots a long three. Misses it. Five points saves it back to him. Rome pushing the ball back up court. England's going to shoot a three. Misses it. Loser gets the rebound. Going the other way. Quickly up. Missed the shot. Now we're going the other way again. Bodies flying everywhere, Rob. Yeah. Ball scores is Ingram. Passes it out to Wise. And now you got... Not all. Oh, the girls oh. outscore the boys in, in first period. And no, it's looks not. Looks like headed that way for the second period. Gibson gets called for a foul. White says he goes by, and the basket's going to count. So now Rome takes their first lead, 13 to 12. And the free throw's up. No good. Rebound by Rowan. He's going the other way quickly. Yeah, we need to slow this thing back down and, and move the ball like we were there early in the first period. Clark has come in for Rob Mark. Everybody clock, he throws it away. Boozer gets the rebound. So timeout is called by their coach. We'll take 30 seconds and be right back. Lewis Motor Company is the oldest car dealership in Rockmart. They have been serving Rockmart and the Polk County area for 56 years, providing quality used cars and great customer service before, during, and after the sale. Lewis Motor Company is proud to offer guaranteed credit approval while you wait. Give them a call today at 770-684-6694. Or stop by and see our staff at Lewis Motor Company, 218 South Piedmont Avenue in Rockmart. Now more of Rockmart High School basketball here on WZOT. Uh, we're back at the Rock. Uh, good time now by Rome's coach. Score is 13-12 Rome. Right at five minutes left to go in this half. Rome has the ball. They're bringing in the McDermott. Rockmark still in the man to man. Pass over to Ingram. Back out to Warren. Over to McDermott. Spins, goes in. Nice move by McDermott. Force two. 15 to 12. Rowan comes across that court with it. Clark and Sims came in for Rock Mark during that last timeout. Pass back out to Boozer. Boozer three misses it. Clark gets rebound and puts it up and in. 15 to 14, Rome right now. Four minutes left. Pretty, pretty, uh, big crowd right now, Chris. I'm pretty yeah. happy with the crowd. Both sides, I mean, you know, it's a big crowd. Got people standing on the, uh, in the walkway up top. All the moving screen on Tillery from Rome. He did find the first time, but when he turned around to go back, he, he was moving when he set the screen. So Rodmar gets the ball it's right at 404 left. Foul was on 22. Rowan comes over half court with it. Passes to Floyd. 
Now we're moving the ball. Loser, yep. Shop that one. He wasn't ready for it. Tried to get inside the Sims. Yeah. Sims wasn't ready. Sims couldn't handle it. Drives the lane. Um, and he stopped out of bounds. Hinkman does. Better ball. Yeah, boozer with those no looks. I mean, they're great passes. You know, these guys have got to be, be ready That's for That's what I was thinking earlier. they got to be ready for them. Because he's feeding them nicely. Getting them right there in the chest. They're just not ready for it. Well, they're expecting him to shoot, and he's, he's dishing it off like he should be. Ingram comes up, takes the shot three corner. Lloyd gets a hand on it. And Lloyd got it on the way for two. Nice play up. Puts Rodmark back in the lead. With right out three minutes left to go in this quarter. In this half. 16-15 Rodmark. <coughs> yeah, Wise driving in. Made contact twice. Two right, that wow. was going to be a fall. Holding on, on Clark. Yeah. This is first. Free throw up. Good. Tie ball game right now with 3.08 left. Yeah, he missed his first two on his first off, Candy. I kind of hoping he's going to miss the next three, but he, he definitely sunk that one. Nothing but net. Yeah. Second one's good. Rowan takes the lead. Ball comes into Rowan. They're back in their one 2 2 zone. Fourth fourth rest. Loser has the ball on the right hand side, throws it quickly up, and throws it away. Picked off across the middle. And now stolen by Floyd. Loser has the ball, just stops out of bounds. Goes off Loser. So Rome gets the ball into their own basket. Ball gets thrown in Ingram. And the right hand side. We're still in man to man. Ingram has it. And Smith beats his man. Boy, he goes in and two hand jams it. 1916 for Rome. Long three by Boozer. Picked up by Floyd. Out to Clark. Now Tyler Rowland's got the ball. Going to slow down, set up the play. I'm good, yes. Long three miss over to Floyd. He's thrown away by Rowland. Going the other way. Thank you for that. Yeah, I got a coffee spell there. Couldn't stop. Yep, two minutes, 48 seconds left here in the second period. Rome up 19 16. Rome with the ball. Coming to midcourt. Coming across the court now. Wise. Passes it over to Hollis. To Rome. He dribbles around back to Wise. Wise dribbles the hole. So he's got a skip set, but they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul, but man, he, he took the ball and ran through the middle right there. Going to be on Clark again. Like a football move there for me. Yeah, he just he protected the ball and just came running through the middle of the lane. But Clark got called for the foul anyway. He'll be shooting two. Makes the first one. Wise well, hadn't got a shot off yet. He's been fouled every time he's touched the ball. Yeah. That one's up. No good. Rebounded by Sims. Boozer gets the ball. Two minutes, 20 seconds left in this half. Top of the key. Boozer has it. Rowland with the far left. Shoots the three. Misses it. And I think you had Clark trying to get the rebound. He was held. What is it, by 25? Yes, and that's what I missed. 
Smith. Ball comes into Rowland. Passes inside to Clark, and it's good. Nice basket. 20 to 18, Rome leads. Under two minutes now in this half. He has almost an unintentional pass there to, from Sims to Clark under the basket. Clark just picked it off and laid it back in. Wow. Foul's going to be on the mark. 14 gifts, and that's his third at least. I tell you what. Three. You know, what's happened is they're driving the hole, and when you keep moving that ball around, the guys are bringing their hands down instead of leaving them straight up. Yeah. And once you bring it down, you're going to get that you're foul ball. You're going to get it every time. He's going to have to bring Gibson back out with three fouls here right before half. And he's bringing Ty Ford back in. That's a short breather. The first free throw is missed. Right now, they're in bonus right now, so the last minute 38. Yeah, that's right. Missed that one. Boozer gets the rebound. Gives it up to Roland. They're in the full court press. Pass to the middle, over to the side to Floyd. Back to Roland. Roland brings it back out, sets it up. Still brings it out over to Boozer. Boozer on the right hand side. Floyd, LaFong three. No good. He doesn't get the rebound, the long rebound. In the backcourt, Boozer pushes it back across. Nice pass over the corner of Rowland to three to take the lead over 21 20. Rob Mark Lee. Nice shot there by Tyler Rowe. Behind the back. Floyd goes up for rebound, gets it. Gives the ball to Boozer. 39 seconds. Back to Floyd. It's off. Goes into Floyd. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds. Got to take that ball in the hole right there. So addition it off. Yeah. He had the clear shot. Floyd just can't seem to find the basket right now. He's all over it. So he'll, right there. he'll get it here in just a second once he gets hot. He'll be going. Inbound by Floyd. Boozer. Boozer backs it out. Coach Calhoun calling for one shot. 24 seconds. Rome picks it off. Driving down the court. He loses the handle. Back to Boozer. 14 seconds to Rowland. Up and in for the layup. Two points. Tyler Rowland. Nice left hand layup right there. Seven seconds left to go. Rob Mark's up 23-20. Ball gets knocked away. So nobody's going to get a chance to shoot it. So... We got 23 to 20. Rob Mart leads at the half. We'll take uh, one minute to come back. We'll be right back with this. Are you aware that untreated wood is highly susceptible to termite damage? Are you bothered by other pesky insects like bed bugs, ants, roaches, wasps, and hornets? Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control for an inspection. They have the experience to handle your pest control needs. Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control today to schedule an appointment. At Century Bank of Georgia's Rock Mart office, you'll find the reassuring blend of responsive personal service with a wide array of accounts, technologies, loans, and more. And you'll find each delivered by a bank professional whose goal is to exceed your expectations of what a bank can be. We invite you to discover all we are today. Your local choice for community banking. Go Jackets. Century Bank of Georgia. Rock Mart. We want to be your bank. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Now back to the action of Rockmart High School basketball here on WZOT. All right, we're back at the Rock. Uh, a nice little couple of seconds there at the very end to help us get back up 23 to 20 over Rome right now with uh, uh, eight minutes left before we start the second half. Hoping Coach Clark will be here to join us here in a second. But uh, Chris, I mean, what a a lot of running gun a low score game. Yeah, uh, definitely not 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 being very efficient. You know, 
get in the basket, ball in the basket. So, yeah, so it's just now been joined by Coach Clark. We can hear all this wonderful sound system we have. How are you, Coach? I'm doing good. So, battle down there with Rome we had. Uh, you know, most of the game you were in it and had a chance to take up and come back and, and take over and just couldn't seem to go over that hill. Yeah, we. I thought we played pretty well tonight, better than we did against East Carter. Uh, shorthanded again without Megan and uh, Emma Evans. Uh, so I was kind of proud of the girls for fight because they, they rotated 14 girls. So I was really seven girls. So I was super, super proud of the effort they put in, giving us a chance to win. We just could not, you know, pull it out right there at the end. It was just a little bit too much depth for us. Yeah, and I, and we agree. Now, at the very, very end, I thought myself, so they might be giving up a little bit, but they weren't. They were just tired, Joe. So. Yeah. And uh, they came back in the very end and fought hard. So you can't ask for anything more than that. No. And uh, what these girls did, um, you know, so I'm very proud of them and, and how hard they worked. Where do we go from here? Um, what, what's next week bring us? Uh, I hope we get Megan back on Wednesday, uh, get her back running around, getting her conditioning up. Uh, Emma should be back on Monday uh, practicing. Uh, so from here, you know, I think we got uh, Gordon Central next, maybe, if I ain't mistaken, or Freeman, somebody. Um, but we, we hopefully we can get healed back up and get girls back out. and Before your area play? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's definitely important. But area play is fixing the start, correct? That is so, correct. So, I mean, and that's where it all really counts for you. That's why y'all were playing these hard games and hard schedules. Yes, 376, we got Gordon Central. So, first reason test, uh, to me, is going to be the team and the reason for us to, to go out there. I think that if anybody can take it away from what we did last year with Gordon Central, uh, they got a, a really good basketball player uh, that's comparable to Kier Perry, you know. So, uh, we wanted to play sound defense like we did tonight. Uh, and we got to get some scoring. Uh, that's why I, I cannot wait for Megan to get back. We, we got to get some extra scoring on the court. Well, even Barry, I mean, she wasn't on, but she was right around the rim. So, if she can hit a couple of those threes here and there, just for her, will help her tremendously. But it, it's still early, Coach. I mean, yeah. the, the shot's there. It's not falling. And, it, and you know, you said she wasn't on, but she had 32, 32 points. points. I mean, that, that, that's what you had 32 <laughs> with a 40. You know? when, when I say on, I need a three-point range. But, you know, if you had Little back in the mix, you got uh, Barry with 32 points, and then Little's going to pick up probably double digits to yeah. hell. And, you know, there's your ball game right there. You're right back, right back in it. Well, and you're probably going to get more points from her because they're just concentrating on her. Yeah, so. See, and that, that's the thing. Megan gets the reach of the world because when we run that, especially team players, man, yeah. you know, Kerry gets to the rim. You know, they're just going to leave that. that Somebody does. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we're hoping team players, man, more than they do zone. Uh, but if I playing us, I wouldn't do it. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. But uh, we're hoping that happens. If we have her tonight with them playing man, it's no doubt uh, Megan probably score 20 points. Yeah. yeah, most definitely. And like I said, I just, I'm just waiting for her to get hot from the three-point line. And then you're, you're it's un, unbelievable what you guys are going to be able to do. Yeah. Because you've got a talented team. Uh, there's not just one or two, but you got to get the rest of the mix. And – that's going to leave a lot of those girls open when they have to concentrate on two. See, that's that's one of the blessings in the skies, you know, with Megan being out, is we had to find other girls to step in. And, and they get, get some playing time. Yes, and they had to play against some good competition. They yeah. play against, you know, each Carter was a big team. And Rome is a really, really good team with, like, 14 girls that can play basketball. And you get Emma back and you, you add speed and, and a little height there, too. Yep. That's going to help you out. So, no doubt, once you get everybody healthy and back able to play, you know, you're definitely going to be on track from what I saw today. And that's what we told the girls. You know, it, if we play like we did tonight against each card and we win by 20. Yeah. All right, but, right. Um, you know, it is what it is. We're, we're learning right. together. And not to take anything from Rome. They're, they're, they're good. They've, they've always been good, and it's a, it's a good out-of-region, you know, game to play. I mean, it's, it's definitely good to play a, play a team the caliber of the Rome Bulls. And that's what we, you know, we try to tell the girls. You know, you can't get caught up in these wins and losses against a Villa Rico or Rome. Those girls are not, and they, even East Fountain was a good, long oh, basketball yeah. team. Yeah. You know, those teams are going to prepare us when we get the reason to play when those girls ain't five that's teams right. across the board. That's right. They're going to make you better. 
Yeah. And uh, so most definitely. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, it's going to be another exciting year. Your first year as head coach here, but you've been there long enough on the bench and working with them, so you know what you got and you know what you got to do. Yeah. So, um, are you when you get your full stream back, will we see more pressing, you think, or more? I mean, right now you can't afford to wear them out. Well, if you notice on the on our surface, they relent. We want to be a pressing team. Uh, but we got to get people back in healthy in order to do that. Right. But, you know, these girls in this plan time is going to let us be able to do that because I could sit here for a minute. Yeah, you know, a minute. You know, let the rest, of, you know, let the girls go out there and press a little bit. Yeah, you know, you saw Gentry get in for a few minutes. You saw uh, Lake get in there for a few minutes. And, you know, down the road, that, that could become important to, to yes. you know, down in the region play. Yeah. I, I just put the question to Deborah Dart, man. You know, yeah, she was Dart. out there. She said she was terrified, but she, she's really aggressive defensively. And if we can just get those jitters out, she can help us out the road if there's somebody that we need to just man up. You know, yeah. she's fast enough to be able to move her feet and, and take some pressure off the area where she don't have to do it. It is amazing how the difference of speed is from – Rest in middle school, then high school, especially as a freshman. But you're right. By getting this little bit of game time out there, that's going to help around tremendously. Yes. yes. And that's one of the things the main coach is talking about. We're going to have to do a, a lot better job of working with from great girls all the way up, you know, doing the summer. We're going to try it out there. And I want people out there to hear We want all the girls to come up here at the high school during the summer. Yes, sir. I'm talking about from fourth grade all the way up so we can start developing girls. So when they get to high school, they got that basketball knowledge. That's where it's at. You know, you've got to develop them young and bring them up through the program and, yeah. and then take advantage of it when you do get them into the high school. The biggest trouble we've had over the years that I've been coaching here and in the rec, getting better, but fundamental. they got to learn those fundamentals at a young age to help you guys down, down the road. If you don't know how to dribble by the time you're a junior, you're, you don't help anybody. So it's got a lot better. Yeah. And uh, we need to continue that on. Yes, we would love to work with you as well to help that program get better. So, uh, but Coach, good luck to you this next week. Uh, hope the flu ball and anything stays with you guys. I kind of got a little congestion, so it's this. So, I ain't going to shake your hand today, so I'm not trying to be rude. I just want to get you sick. So, I'm going to wish you well next week. And uh, keep doing what you're doing, man. All right. Thank you guys for having me on. All right, buddy. Good right. to see you. We'll take one minute. I'll be right back. Silver Comet Furniture, your one-stop shop for all your furniture and bedding needs. We carry brands such as Ashley, Catnapper, Liberty, and Jameson Mattress Company. That's Silver Comet Furniture, 678-685-4320, 2000 Cedartown Highway in Fish Creek. Is your thermostat breaking your wallet each month? The reason could be your home is not adequately insulated. Have the experts at TNT Insulation help put money back in your pocket. Call Tim Montgomery today at 770-684-1887 to schedule an inspection. TNT Insulation can handle all your insulation needs, and they specialize in spray foam insulation. Now more of Rock Martin High School basketball here on WZOT. All right, we're back to the Rockets start the second half. Nice to have Coach Clark on here. Talking about his team and, and what the future holds yeah, for him. Yeah, very excited, you know, to get everybody back. I think that's what he's looking for. Rome will start the ball in the second half. Uh, they're down. Rome is down by three points. It's 23 to 20. Rockmart leads. Timmery into McDermott. That was a quick first half. Low score. Foul on the floor. I don't know what happened there. They forced through the other guy that way to get to get to the guy. So this is first. Well, give me a foul on four, like you said. Well, you got Ingram shooting a double bonus and missing the first one. Shot up and makes the second one. So now it's 23-21, Rockmar lead. Yeah, Ingram, he's just silently picking away, but he's got seven points tonight for Rome. Oh, he gonna no. He's going to get Tyler rolling with the push. Tyler rolling. He extended his arm right there, pushed yeah. off on McDermott. And he probably didn't mean to, but it didn't matter the way it looked. Right yeah. there in front of the referee. It was 100% time yeah, to call once, that. Once you extend that arm past, you know, wow. past your body there, it's, 
you're going to get the call on that one. Now they bring the ball in. Holland. We're still in a man to man. Loses on Ingram. Ball back to Holland. Ball passed over to Tillery. Now given up to McDermott. To Holland. Holland back to, I believe it's McDermott. Now that's Ingram. Now McDermott has it. This is passing around. Looking for that back door, and there it was, but got blocked out of bounds by Rowland. Good clean block right there by Tyler Rowland, unfortunately. Rome would get the ball back under their basket. Positive there was no foul there, thank goodness, though. Yeah, it's a good clean block. Ingram at three point line. He should have double dribbled there, but Holland gets the ball one. Passes Kip towards Kip pass across. Shots missed. Boozer down with the rebound. Boozer's going to bring it up. Boozer's the top of the key. Pass over to Rowan. Boozer gets the ball back at the top. Dribbles over here toward us. Yeah. Floyd, Floyd shoots for three. A little bit hard. And the ball's going to go out of bounds to Rome. He's right yeah. there, just shooting a little bit back to the back. Yeah, that one's just, just ringing around the basket there. Six minutes left to go in this third quarter. 23 Rob Mark, 21 Rome. Ball pass up to Ingram. Left side. Pass over to Holland. McDermott drives. Misses. Rebound. Out to Davis. Rowan drives the hole. And there it goes. Oh, come on. It's got to be on 22. He's got a foul on uh, number 14. No, he's got it on 14. On Ingram. Man. Loser got the ball. He's going to the hole. He got wrapped up. The ball's going to be out of bounds. He changed it to 22. Yeah. I just heard him. I, I thought so. That's his third. Loser comes out with it. Stop the key. Takes up the drive. Throws it away. Now coming the other way quickly. Kicking it around like a pit ball. Exactly what it was. Well, three different feet. Rob Mark gets the ball under their basket, under Rome's basket. They're going to press. You got 10 seconds. You got to move. Well, yeah, they're bagging off the. So. Roll comes across that court. Back to the Floyd for a three. And he's still long. Back to a pass by Buzo. Good. And. That was Davis had to put it up twice to use the rim to, to help him. Going the other way, blocked by Boozer. 25 21 Rotmar. Rotmar has the ball. Nice backdoor pass to Davis. Scores again. Good feed right there from Boozer to Davis. Nice look. Davis was unguarded under the goal. He was ready for it. 27 21 Rotmar. Oh, my goodness gracious. What a block by Boozer. Number five, uh, Wise is going in for a dunk. Boozer went between and blocked it and saved the ball. Robert gets the ball back. Wow. No foul. I mean, that's what that was the most awesome that thing about clean. it. What a block. He went in with a two-handed slam, and Boozer went right between him and knocked the ball away. And saved the ball from going out of bounds. So... Now you got Clark going in for a layup. He's going to get fouled by Holland. Now he'd be shooting. Two. Shooting two here. As he was going up for the, the layup, he got fouled by 10. The RW laundry free throw. Free up some of your time in this holiday season by taking advantage of RW's wash and total cold service. 
they'll be glad to take care of you there. And uh, if you don't have time, just drop it off with them. Otherwise, they've got commercial washers and dryers you can use yourself as well. RW Laundry, 804 West Elm Street, Rob Mark. Ball going the other way. Knocked out of bounds by Rob Mark. 28-21, Rob Mark leads. Four minutes left to go in the third quarter. They are definitely letting them play. That's a kick ball, and that's a nice job. Holland drives in, tries to dish to Ingram, and loser kicks it. Yeah, no harm, no foul. We just stopped the play right there, so not a bad job by Boozer. Trying to get it in, pass it in quickly. Ingram shoots a long three-pointer. Davis gets the rebound for Rob Mark. Boozer comes up with it. Boozer takes it to the left-hand side. And now he's going to drive and dish. Passes it over to Clark. Back out to Rowan. Timeout's going to be called by Rob Mark. So now he got knocked down there, but it's 30-second timeout. We'll be right back at 30 seconds. Get your bronze on. Visit Totally Bronze Tanning Salon at 254 West Elm Street in Rockmart to get that beautiful bronze look. Totally Bronze Tanning Salon has a very clean and cool facility with a safe, well-lit parking area. For a quick tan, they have sunless spray tanning. Call them today at 770-684-3003 for an appointment or go by 254 West Elm Street in Rockmart. Now back to the action of Rockmart High School Basketball here on WZOT. All right, so Rockmar's ball, three minutes and 25 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Rockmar leads 28 to 21. That's our ball on the side. Ty Floyd throws it into Boozer. All the way at the other end, he's going to walk it up. Comes across that court. Back to Rowan. You got to get it to him. Loses underneath. Uh, what I'm saying, get it to him is Holland was guarding Boozer under the basket. He got like a two foot difference in size. <laughs> yeah. So uh, he tried to alley it up into him, and the best thing he always could do was just grab all the Boozer. That was definitely a mismatch right there. And like I said, all he could do was grab Boozer and hang on. Yeah. Ty Ford gets the ball inbound. Boozer's got him now in the far corner. Sims drives the hole. Nice move right there by Clark. And yep, Clark makes that basket. All right, coming across that court. Right now, Rob Marks got to leave 30 to 21. Good defense by Clark. Yeah, we're still in the man to man. Boozer steals the ball when he spins around right into Boozer. He was there to take the ball. Boozer takes it to the hole, passes it to Davis. Three-point line, misses it. Floyd gets the rebound to Boozer. He's going to shoot three, misses it, going the other way. Three on three. Nice change of direction. <clears throat> Ingram, but he misses the shot. Drives the hole to McDermott. Blocked by Roland. Picked up by Roland. Yeah. A lot of hands smacking right down there. Two minutes left in this third quarter. 30 to 21. Rob Marley. Loser has it to Davis. Drives the hole. Perfect shot. Davis is playing exceptionally well. He's really got good good ball control and uh, taking it to the basket tonight. Oh, yeah, most definitely. And he's a lot of confidence. 32-21. 11 point lead for Rob Mark. They get over half court. We're still playing man to man. Pick him up as soon as they come over half court. 
Pass over to McDermott. Stop to Ingram. Raylan Gibson back in the game with three foul. Nelson. Ingram drives in. Make a layup. Four foul. Yeah, he hit him with the hand and body and everything else there. Remember, tonight, guys, is shop local downtown. There's all kinds of shops open. So I believe around nine. Um, they're opening up at six. We already passed that. So head downtown and shop local. Then we have the parade coming up next Thursday. The fifth, I believe. Yeah. Next Thursday, we are going to actually do that on the radio. Really? Uh, myself and. Uh, so you'll uh, be singing Here Comes Santa Claus. That's uh, nugget negatory. <laughs> but uh, you'll have uh, Mark Lumpkin and Lee Holt is going to join us. Boozer takes it in for a layup. It's blocked going the other way. Pass up quickly. And scored the point by Ingram. It's down 32 35. Rome's trying to come back. Long pass to Boozer. And he's going to get fouled. Another definite mitch, mismatch down there with McDermott and Boozer. Boozer's got him out outside by a couple of feet there. Yeah. So now we've got another RW lottery free throw. Free up some of your time by taking advantage of the RW's wash and full service laundry. In their clean, well kept laundry. Also, they've got some of the cleanest restrooms there are in town as well. So uh, go down and see RW Laundry at 804 West Elm Street, Rockmark, Georgia. And get your laundry, get her done. Yeah. Boozer makes the first one. Second one rattles around, bounces in. Yeah, 34 25, Rob Martin. Oh, he's over and back. Never got his foot down. So he, the player threw the ball, but uh, he, he's taking his time coming across that course. Never established the speed on the other side, so it's over and back. Going to Rob Martin. Probably that happens to other teams. Yeah. Sam's with the inbound. Back to Boozer. They're in a the man to man right now, but we're spreading it out. Down to 30 seconds here in the third period. 34-25, Rockmont. So we're just holding out here. Looking for one shot. Yeah, Boozer still got the ball. Not 12 ahead. seconds. Out to Roland. Off the rim. Back to Boozer. Boozer steals it out of his hand. Scores 36-25. We'll get a double dribble. We'll be right back in one minute. By Low True Value, 308 Nathan Dean Parkway in Rockmart invites you to come by and watch the inventory grow every day. We're the home of the Garrett Brothers Saw Mill. Our family has been processing and selling our country's greatest renewable resources for over 100 years. Like us on Facebook or give us a call at 770-684-5075. What kind of cake will they serve at your retirement party? Chocolate? Red Velvet? Well, go ahead and call the bakery. Because whether you plan to retire in 15 years or 50, a State Farm agent can help you take charge of your retirement and help make it seem like, well, a piece of cake. Sherman Rawls State Farm Insurance, 122 East Elm Street in Rockmart. Call 770-684-3500. Email him at sherman at shermanross.net. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Neither State Farm nor its agents provide tax, legal, or investment advice. Consult your own advisor regarding your particular circumstances. Now, more of Rockmart High School basketball here on WZOT. Uh, we're back at the Rock. We go to our fourth quarter. Rockmart leads. Boys game, 36-25. And Rockmart has the ball. Booz is going to bring it in. Ball pass for it. Giving up to Clark. Clark's going to lose it. Over and back. Just uh, too much ball handling. Just got to play the game, guys. So Rome has the ball now. 4.45, or 7.45 left in the game. They're down by 
Nine points. Rome is. Wise goes in for a layup. This fast Boozer scores. Now it's 36 27. Now it's nine points. Roland has the ball at to the top of the key. Now he brings it out. They're slowing it down. I don't think you slow down what you what you've been doing, but coach is gonna call a thirty second timeout. We'll be right back in thirty seconds. Freeman Harris Funeral Home, the funeral home that has been providing a strong arm for our friends and neighbors to lean on for the past 76 years. We are proud of the young folks of our community and wish for them success on the field and off. Freeman Harris Funeral Home, Rock Mart's very own. Now back to the action of Rock Mart High School basketball here on WZOT. Oh, yeah, check. First half. Too many three and outs, or defense out. Yeah. Uh, basketball game here at the Rock. There's seven minutes left in this game. Rob Martin leads 36 to Rome 27. This is the boys' action. Started six. Girls got beat tonight. 54 to 40. Played very well. Rowan has the ball. Passes it. Clark. Now it's a Rowan. They're going to bring it out. They're going to slow it down some. Yeah, we just want to maintain the lead and, and eat up some of the clock at the same time. Oh. Rowan calls the timeout. He gets boxed in over here in the corner. Yeah, so we're going to get a full timeout. 60 seconds. We'll be right back. Hey folks, this is your old buddy Bill Scherfsey, General Manager of All Star Motors. See Donis Bain for a great deal on a new pre-owned vehicle and drive it home today. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. Your job is your credit. And remember, All Star Motors, where every day is an All Star Day. Also, check us out at www.allstarmotorco.com. And we have that unforgettable phone number, 770-684-CARS. At 770-684-2277. A-plus store solutions is your local Weaver's Portable Building and R&B Metal Structures dealer in Rock Mart. We also sell dog kennels and a variety of trailers, including dump trailers. Get your portable building faster at A-plus store solutions. We are located just a half mile south of Rock Mart High School on Highway 113. Stop by and see Jim or give us a call at 678-883-2006. Now, more of Rock Mart High School basketball here on WZOT. All right, back of the Rock. Rock Mart's going to take it out of bounds. Right here in front of us. Yep, right, right here near side. Reach out and grab them. Yep, near side here, Tyler rolling with the ball. Back to Boozer in the backcourt. They're playing man-to-man. The way they're out, they're playing this man-to-man. Boozer's dribbling the ball. Trying to keep up with Boozer. Back to the rolling, rolling over. To Clark, uh, Clark, to Davis, back out to Rowan. We're going to be looking for a backdoor layup. Davis has the ball, passes it over to Sims. There goes Davis into the layup, and he's going to get fouled. That's what they're looking for. Yeah, Davis went in hard, did his job right there, saw the lane, took it took it in, and picked up the foul, or got the foul, rather. Right? Now we've got a RW laundry free throw. Hey, you know, when I used to work out of town, we always looked for somebody like RW laundry, you know, to, to do our laundry. We were staying in the hotels and, and stuff, working, you know, storm damage. So that way we could drop off our uniforms or our personal clothes and go back and pick them up, you know, just like R&W there, that wash and fold, man, that's nice. Wow. It's RW. So you, why wouldn't you want to use them? They're very clean and, and they're very friendly. But uh, just got a technical foul on uh, Rome. They don't know what it was for. They was on the coach, I believe. So he does make the first one. Must have been on the bench. I didn't see anything happen, happen out on the court. The only thing I heard the referee says, I told you three times. 
So he made two free throws. Now he's going to shoot his his two for his. This is a technical here. Right. And made that. So he went one more. So why not keep shooting? If he's hitting, let him keep shooting. Then we'll get the ball back. This should wind up being a six-point play. They still get the, we still get the ball back. That's four points. Plus the ball. Nice job by Davis right there knocking out four free throws. Two for the technical and two for the foul. Yep. That was on the play before the technical. Now Floyd on the far side court going to bring the ball in. All right, so that technical was on number five for Rome. He just wrote his name down for the official. So I don't know what happened. But... So Rowan has it. Passes it up. Just tossed it up, though, for another way. Passes it up quickly. The German misses it. And Rowan just not down. So Rowan got down travel. hard. Missed shot by the German there. And unfortunately, there wasn't a lot of contact there, but he did fall on the floor. Yeah. So that was going to be a travel. So it is what it is. He came down hard. I think they got him for a. Nope, you're right. Travel. So Ronald takes it under their basket. Goes in quickly. Ingram has it. 540 left to go. Rom shoots scores. Scores 40 to 30 or 30, 40 to 29. We're up by 11. Quickly up the court. Throws over to Davis. They go out of bounds. He couldn't handle it. So it's 40 29. Rock Mark. Yeah, Davis just couldn't hang on to that pass back there from Clark. So, ball back to Rome here. Getting close to the five-minute mark. Oh, is going to take it in. Passes it over to Wise. Wise goes to the hole. Let me call for a foul at the beginning. Foul's going to be on Floyd. It's going to be out of bounds. That's just his second. So we're going to take a 30-second timeout by Rome. We'll be right back after this. Our kitchen is where our life happens. It wasn't always perfect, but now it is, thanks to a home equity line of credit from family. Use the equity in your house to love your home with Family Savings Credit Union. Visit FamilySavingsCU.com. This is Ryan Robinson, branch manager of your local Family Savings Credit Union. Come by and visit us sometime, 101 Felton Drive, Rockmark, Georgia, 770-684-8601. Equal housing opportunity member NCUA, NMLS number 800746. Here's a real tweet from a real Chick-fil-A guest. Meredith writes, am I the only person who didn't know Chick-fil-A had mac and cheese? Holy game changer. The secret's out now, Meredith. Is there anything you think the world should know about our mac and cheese? What I really like about the mac and cheese is the oven toasted golden brown cheesy top layer. It's savory and it makes you feel really good. That does sound amazing. Thanks, Meredith. Try the mac and cheese yourself at your local Chick-fil-A. Real Chick-fil-A gets paid for their testimonial. And now we're back. Rome will have it under their basket. Um, we've slowed the ball down quite a bit. That's allowed them to come back with some of the scoring. Ingram shoots a three, misses it. Got him over the back. Yep. He went up over Davis to grab that rebound. Drop Mark Ball. So it's going to be a, going to be a free throw down here for Davis. You know, in our days, there was over the back. There is no such thing as over the back anymore, just to let you know. They call it pushing. Oh, okay. No, no. I mean, you don't know. I mean, yeah. about three years ago, they changed that. Yeah. You hear everybody so say, over the back. Pushing. Just pushing the back. You always say, pushing the back. I don't know why it got changed. It's still over the back any way you look at it. He makes the first free throw. 
Well, I probably won't change. So exactly, <laughs> exactly. Second one misses it. Going the other way quickly. So it's 41-29, Rock Bar lead. Under five minutes now. Man-to-man defense is what Rock Bar's in. Nine All picked by Rowland. Just to knock up in the air and out of bounds. A good job. What a catch over there by the cheerleader from Rome one. She gets the good hands award for tonight. Yeah. Ball's going to come in for Rowan Sills the ball. But yes, tries to throw it off of Rome's foot. Didn't work. So it's going to stay Rome. And we're going to take a 60 second timeout. We'll be right back. Lewis Motor Company is the oldest car dealership in Rockmart. They have been serving Rockmart and the Polk County area for 56 years, providing quality used cars and great customer service before, during, and after the sale. Lewis Motor Company is proud to offer guaranteed credit approval while you wait. Give them a call today at 770-684-6694 or stop by and see our staff at Lewis Motor Company, 218 South Piedmont Avenue in Rockmart. Are you aware that untreated wood is highly susceptible to termite damage? Are you bothered by other pesky insects like bed bugs, ants, roaches, wasps, and hornets? Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control for an inspection. They have the experience to handle your pest control needs. Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control today to schedule an appointment. Now back to the action of Rockmart High School basketball here on WZOT. Back of the rock. 439 left to go in this ball game. 41 29, Rock Bar Lee. It's Rome. Rome has the ball out of bounds. Throw it in. To Ingram, top of the key. He's going to drive to the hole. Misses. Boozer gets the rebound. Throws it off the wrong player. It worked that time. Now they're going to be a full court press. Who's going to get the ball? He's going to bring it in. Rome wants the ball right now. Throws it up to Floyd. Back to Floyd. Got to cross the timeline. Yep. Rowan has the ball. Drives in. Going to be a hand check. We're going to be doing a RW laundry free throw. Free up your time this holiday season or any time during the year at RW's Wash and Fold Service. They are a very clean and well kept laundry facility. Ball going the other way. They're at 804 West Elm Street, Rockmark. Missed that free throw. And Holland throws it up for two. 41 31. We'll bring the ball top to key. Oh. Boy turns and spins, throws the loser over to Rowland, brings it back out, shoots three. Boy gets it, but almost gets undercut. It's out of bounds to Rome. This is why it was a little bit too early to take this time off the clock. Yeah. Keep playing your game. That's my opinion. I'm just one person. Well, he's got to come out of the game now. The coach went out there to see us. Yeah, the Rome player did get hurt. So. He's okay. He's up walking on it. Thank goodness. We think he's okay. He's not walking. One leg in it off. Sean, our trainer, is going down to see him. Yeah. Um, Coach Calhoun was hoping they wouldn't take that shot so quick. You know, they, he was wanting to keep working the ball around. and Still with a 10-point lead right here with three minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. Well, Holland comes over. Passes it up. Oh, my. Uh, hot dog shot goes up. No good. By McDermott. Rowan comes up and draws that court with it. They drive down the left hand side. Shoots a layup. And, and he scores. Foul. So, those are the ones you want to take. They don't think you're going to oh, take yeah. it. I mean, if, if, take it. if yeah. they're going to leave the lane wide open right there, why not go ahead and drive and take that easy layup? And. In this case, he got the foul on top of that. That's 
right. So it's going to be another RW Laundry free throw. Go in there and see him. Beautiful laundry mat. Help yourself. Uh, do those uh, comforters in this past holiday season when your family goes home. And uh, they're 804 West Elm Street, Lamar, Georgia. Or if you got sickness in your household like we do, yeah, you know, take those comforters and sheets and throw them all in there and get them good and clean and sanitized. Share the wealth. Get everybody else down there. No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Boozer takes it to the hole. Oh, slam dunk. One-handed. That's a guaranteed two points every time. So yeah, 45, he 31. He right just there. pulled his way right down the middle right there of the lane and just drove that one home. One he hand. can get up so Man. quick, so fast. He's got the ball going back in. Loose it, though. No, nope, don't waste time. Oh, they were going to try to match, but he couldn't dunk. Not then. Smith, he lays it in. Timeout called by Coach. Got to injure. He came down on that ankle, that last play. Uh, Smith there for Rome, number 25. So we're going to take a one-minute timeout. We'll be right back. WZOT Rockmark, W270CE Rome. Rockmar Rent to Own invites you to stop by and see their showroom. It is filled with furniture lines like Ashley, United, Lane, Simmons, with new merchandise arriving every day. Come by and see Randall for the best deals in propane. And Stanley, he don't like standing around, so come down and let Scooter fix you up with furniture and appliance deals. They also rent U-Haul trucks. We are open Monday and Tuesday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., closed on Wednesdays, open Thursday and Friday from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., open Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., closed on Sundays. Call 770-684-5314, located at 966 Seertown Highway in Rockmart. Be sure to follow on Facebook at Rockmart rent to own all right, back of the rock, 227 left to go in this ball game. Rob R. leads 45-33. A little more energy now there, Chris. Yeah, definitely uh, moving the ball and, you know, had a couple of good shots here in the last couple of minutes. All right, so now we've got the ball. Boozer has it. Yeah, we're just going to try to play keep away as long as we can and look for something back door. Floyd comes out and try to set the pick for Boozer. Got to be careful about that. Got numbers here. Yeah, Ingram's wanting the ball. Boozer has the ball. Passes it over to Tim. Down a minute 45. Floyd has the ball. Passes the way up in the air to Boozer. Skip pass. Over the corner. Nice back door to Davis. And that's what they're right in there. So 47-33. He walked. He walked first. He missed it. He was running with his back to him. He couldn't see it. That's okay. Yeah, that last play, though, but back down here with Rob Martin on our side, the way we moved the ball. And finally, you know, we just kept throwing it from corner to corner, side to side, and Davis was left uncovered. Easy lay in. A little court maintenance here. Got a little sweat there on the floor. So, we're going to get that all cleaned up real quick. But, you know, overall, been a pretty decent game for these guys. They're moving the ball very well. Yeah, I hadn't uh, made too many mistakes. I mean, we, we stayed out of foul trouble, you know, except for, you know, Gibson. He's the only one in any real foul trouble right now. And that's costed him time, you know, playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> minute 26, Rob Mark 47, Rome 33. Good job by Ty Floyd down there covering the inbound pass, and uh, we get the ball. Five seconds off. Throws in that a rolling. They're kind of in a half court. They've kind of pretty much given up, it looks like. Yeah, we can probably just run this one out. I don't think they're going to foul. Minute 15. 
Ball is back over the corner. He's going to shoot. Misses it. Davis gets the rebound. Throw it away. Going the other way real quick. Oh, he walked. And block and foul on. They're going to call block first. Block and foul on Rowland. She's trying to find it. So, hold on, Rowland. You're right. right in front of her. He was right in front of her. Ball trying to be taken away by Floyd. They're going to call a foul on Floyd. That's his third. Now they're, now they're talking back and forth. Floyd, and the kid he got technical already once today. I think that's what happened with the technical earlier, I think. I think he's been talking a little too much. Yeah. Well, you don't see much action uh, in the league. They're going to be playing if you talk too much. To, they'll be calling technicals on him all year. Yeah. So he needs to be careful. He needs to be a little more wise, <laughs> like his last name. He's definitely a key basketball player sure for, for Rome. I mean, he's he's accumulated that seven, eight points here tonight. So it would be wise for him just to play basketball. Yeah, it's almost ten seconds. Who's gets the rebound? It's 47-37. Missed the second one there. Or uh, 47-34, excuse me. Going into Davis. He brings it back out. Ty Floyd. Yeah. Passes into Rowan. We, I mean, we've had, we've got the lane open. We're not trying to score. We're trying to run that 30 seconds off that clock right there. Take this W to the house. Yeah. Rowan gets away from his defender. Now they foul him. Why are you fouling him now? But, okay. So, fouls will be on Ingram. You let, you let a minute and a half go off the clock, and you don't foul, but now you foul it. Yeah, who did you call that one on? Uh, Ingram, 14. So, that's another RW laundry free throw. Go down to 804 West Elm Street. For the RW laundry mat, we got commercial washer and dryer. It's well kept, clean, and uh, got clean restrooms. It's a nice place. Free throws good. 49 34. That coach telling no foul, which means someone's going to foul. Yeah. 22 seconds left to go in this competition. Ingram drives in, just does a layup. Throws the ball to Floyd. And that'll be the ball game, 49-36. Rockmark comes down on top on this game. So, that was a, was a good contest for our, for our young men. So, we're going to take one minute, come right back and close this thing up. Hey folks, this is your old buddy Bill Scherfsey, General Manager of All Star Motors. See Donis Bain for a great deal on a new pre-owned vehicle and drive it home today. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. Your job is your credit. And remember, All Star Motors, where every day is an all-star day. Also, check us out at www.allstarmotorco.com. And we have that unforgettable phone number, 770-684-CARS. At 770-684-2277. A-Plus Store Solutions is your local Weaver's Portable Building and R&B Metal Structures dealer in Rockmart. We also sell dog kennels and a variety of trailers, including dump trailers. Get your portable building faster at A-Plus Store Solutions. We are located just a half mile south of Rockmart High School on Highway 113. Stop by and see Jim or give us a call at 678-883-2006. You're listening to Rock Martin High School Basketball here on WZOT, 101.9 FM, AM 1220. All right, we're back at the Rock where the Yellow Jackets just finished up winning 49-36 to over the Rome Wolves. And uh, 
you know, pretty good game that the guys played today, Chris. I was pretty happy with uh, everything to the very end. We slowed down, but it was a good game. Yeah, you know, Rob Mark did good. We spread the points around, you know, with Boozer picking up 12, rolling 14, uh, Davis 14, and then coming in with Clark at 7, Gibson at 4. So, you know, they spread the points around a good bit and uh, stayed really out of foul trouble. That's what, what needs to happen if we're going to continue down the road. But, like, uh, you know, our first competition in area is coming up against Gordon Central next week. So that's what they're really keying on for next week. But uh, I, I felt like an overall good victory for us today. Yep. Uh, very good victory going into next week. Uh, I think our next contest is actually not till next Friday, and that's Gordon Central. And, uh, you know, that will start region play. So, you know. Pick it up next week, pick up here where we left off and get the girls rolling. And, you know, like we talked earlier to, you know, Coach Clark, you know, we get all those uh, girls back healthy and ones that weren't here today, and we'll be good to go. Yeah, that's that's the key, get them healthy, get them ready to go for this year, and uh, you know, it'll be an exciting year for Now, you know, you, your first year doing basketball, but you and, and Jeff Sharp will be doing it, and that's good. Uh, I'm taking some time off, much-needed much time off. I found out that I had a family. Oh, I didn't know I'd go home at night what was there, but it's, it's a family. Really? So you know, I'm, I'm going to spend some time with them. Yeah, nothing, nothing wrong with that, and I'm, I'm glad to help out. And, you know, we'll, we'll get, her, get her done there you like go. We, we did in the past. Uh, so, you yeah. know. But tonight's girl action, uh, the girls lost to Rome 54-40, to 40, and the boys won. 36-49, but you know, like you said earlier, it's hard to see that that the girls almost outscored the boys kind of thing, and they did in one sense. Yeah, but uh, they put up more points. But you know, just a good stepping stone for our program to move forward. Yeah, so, exactly. So that's all I got for tonight. Yep, that, that's it. You know, I'm glad everybody was able to join us, and you know, we'll we'll take a victory here going into the end of the weekend and into next week and. Keep it rolling. Remember, the holiday season's coming up. We've got another month. Let's shop local. All of our uh, vendors that help support Rob Mark basketball and these sports and all of our other vendors downtown, they do rely on you uh, to find some unique gifts. So uh, we want to thank you for tonight's action between uh, the Yellow Jackets and Rome. Y'all have a good night.